TGR. Yo, it's your boy Onyx, and today I want to talk a little bit about my time with the DNF Dual Beta. As someone who loves fighting games and most recently played a good amount of Guilty Gear Strive, I was pretty surprised when I noticed that another Arc System Works anime fighter, DNF Duel, was announced, and I was a bit intrigued. I hadn't heard of Dungeon Fighter Online previously, but from my understanding, it's a Korean-developed online beat-em-up. And DNF Duel is a 2D fighter using characters and elements from that original game. I have zero experience with said game, so all these characters are brand new to me, and that's a great thing. Let's start by talking about the obvious things first. The graphics, as usual, are pretty incredible. Arc System Works is a master of 2D animation, and the designs are also top-notch. I love how every character looks unique, but they all fit this mold of the world they inhabit. It's a uniform design that establishes itself as pretty damn cool, in my humble opinion. Standout designs go to Ranger, Inquisitor, Jesus Man, and Dragon Knight. Graphics aside, you can tell that the majority of the budget went into the animations and polygonal graphics, as some other aspects of the game, such as the UI, don't look as polished as the other Arc System War games that I'm familiar with. The music is also pretty okay, it's nothing unique in my opinion. You know, guitar riffs and some drums to get the blood pumping, though there are a few tracks that are pretty exceptional, such as the music used for the Saint Horn stage, as well as the online lobby theme, they're pretty damn good. So this is a fighting game that's more than likely going to be played online, so how does that fare? Well, I'm happy to say that the rollback netcode is exceptional. I never, not once, felt like I was playing online, except on the occasional player connecting screen in the middle of a match. This is a beta after all, so on day one I was unable to get any matches going. I ended up playing against a CPU which the game throws at you when the servers are down, but you couldn't pick a character, so you were given a, a random dude or dudette without knowing anything about the game itself, as there is no practice mode either. I was given Ranger and played a few matches against the CPU, which I lost a few times as I got adjusted to the game's mechanics. Now, I'm no fighting game expert, mind you, but I will try to break down the systems that I was able to learn while playing the game without looking anything up. There's an MP bar, first of all, or meter, that is needed to use your cross button skills, and for those that don't know what a cross is, it's your X button on PlayStation Pad. I believe the term that they use is magic skills, but I'm sure I'm wrong and I don't really care to look it up right now. I'm tired. Anyway, besides that M skill button, there is a light attack on square, a medium attack on triangle, and a heavy attack or skill button on the circle that doesn't use any meter from what I noticed. You grab with L1, you guard with R2, which oh my god it took me so long to get used to pressing a button to guard in a 2D fighting game. And then you use your awakening or ultimate special with L2 when you're at low HP, which your HP bar will change to tell you when you can use that skill. Every character also has a passive skill that is activated at that moment as well, like one character who has an MP regeneration skill that regenerates MP a lot faster. So with these basics out of the way, which I'm sure I'm forgetting or missing something, the game is a lot of fun to play. All the characters are extremely unique in combat and their respective M skills also feel really good to land. The feedback to the player is top notch and it demands replayability. Since the menus and fights load pretty quickly on PS5, it's easy to find yourself doing rematch after rematch and then an hour passes by without you even noticing. One thing that I do want to note, however, is that when any fighting game first launches and every single player has no idea what they're truly doing, it's just a period of a lot of fun. The real test of this game's longevity will be when it launches and people maximize all the gameplay potential. I fought against a Berserker and Grappler, for example, who downright bodied me and it didn't feel good. It's very clear that these two players spent a lot of time on this game this past weekend. Afterwards, I did read that there is some sort of combat mechanic in the game, but I sure as hell don't know how to activate it. If the game gets a bit tweaked, I'm sure it'll be a, a great fighting game, but as of right now, I'm not sure it's a day one purchase, not if it's exactly like it is in this beta. Some characters feel extremely overpowered, like Jesus Man or even Striker, whom I had a ton of fun using myself, but I do believe Arc System Works and Aiding have a more than solid foundation in their hands, and this might be a game I find myself playing a lot in the future. I just hope that they can touch it up and enhance it like they have with Guilty Gear Strive and Dragon Ball Fighters before that. 
let's hope that they do a second beta so more people can get their hands on it and they can get all the feedback they need to launch with another premium fighting game under their belt. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more and stay up to date, subscribe, hit the little bell, and join our Discord. If you want to support the channel, please check out our Patreon or hit the join button below. As always, thanks for your support and thanks for watching.